Welcome back to another leg day. Today, it probably looks like I'm just taking it easy. It might even look to you like I'm slacking off, like I should be pushing some heavier weights, but this is exactly what I need right now. I got injured three months ago, a little over three months ago, and still I'm recovering. I had an injury on my left ACL that I thought would be over and done with by now, but it seems like it was a bit more serious than I first thought. However, uh, progress has been steady, and every week I feel a little bit better about it. I feel a little more, bit more confident. Still, when I straighten out my leg, there's a bit of tension in my knee. It feels like something's not completely right. When I bend my knee, uh, really far or put it in a compromised position, something feels off. But still, progress has been steady and it's getting better. And although it is getting better, I've decided that in this new program that I've written up for myself, I'm not going to push it. I'm going to take it fairly easy from the start and really I'm going to continue where I left off. Last week, I did my first squats in about two and a half weeks, and I did three sets of 10 with 95 pounds. A few days ago, I did three sets of 10 with 105 pounds. Today, I did three sets of eight with 115 pounds, and it feels totally fine. It feels good just going through the motions, getting a little bit of a stretch in my legs, and this isn't hard for me, but it's just another step on this ladder that I have to take. I'm going to be slowly working up to those heavier weights. And in about six, seven, eight weeks, I think I should be ready to go back to squatting some heavy weights. Until then, I'm going to be working with uh, within the five to ten rep range and just slowly building up the weights, making myself comfortable with every single rung on this ladder of the rep range and the weight range. And it's not gonna be immediate, but I will get there. I will be comfortable squatting heavy by the time that this program is done with. I'm also working on a lot of exercises which are intended to strengthen those areas that likely led to this injury in the first place. The number one exercise being hamstring curls. I have not touched my hamstrings in realistically about two years. I've just completely ignored them. And I think that that probably in some way contributed to this injury. So I'm bringing back the hamstring curls. I'm starting off real light and real easy. I did three sets of 15 with 35 pounds. I think that should be a sufficient starting position. And I'm just going to keep working up from this point, adding on reps, adding on a little bit of weight as the weeks progress, and just continuously training my hamstrings, getting them back to actually working because, like I said, I've been ignoring them. Another thing I'm going to be doing is the ATG split squats, which I did three sets of 10 with today. I'm not doing any weight. I just did them with my body weight, trying to get a stretch in my knee, a deep stretch in my knee, and I had fun with those. I like those. I have not done too much of them in the past, but it's something I'm able to do with the full range of motion, so might as well just do it. Get that stretch in the quads and in the knee, and just enjoy the process. Work on my balance, because I definitely uh, might have fallen over a couple times doing those, but that's all right. I also did some banded tibialis raises. I did three sets of 30. And I'm a big fan of these. I haven't done much tibialis work or really any tibialis training in the past, well, before the past year. The past year I've done a ton of it, but before then I did basically none. And so I'm enjoying these. I'm enjoying these because I know that this is something that I've previously left on the table that is really going to benefit me in the future. I know it's going to lead to my legs being stronger overall. It will prevent things like shin splints. And it should even help with my running. It'll be great doing this to be Alice raises. 
I also did pull-ups and chin-ups, so I kind of just am restarting that program I was running a few months ago. I started with 32 pounds in the weighted pull-up and chin-up, and I'm just doing two sets of five of each. I think that if I continue with the same progression I was doing last time, just putting on two pounds each week, I should continue to just get stronger and get stronger quickly. Within a month, that is an eight pound increase. I should be back to doing 40 pounds for two sets of five, which is where I last left off. But I didn't want to just jump back in because I know that it's likely I start failing real soon. It's likely that if I just jump back in to where I was at, I start failing right away. And I don't see the point in doing that. It's going to be a lot better for me if I take off a little bit of weight and slowly work myself up because let's be honest just jumping into it is gonna potentially lead to injury my shoulders are a bit sore from all those push-ups I did the other day and it doesn't make any sense to me to just jump in cocky with my ego and expect to be able to do this I'm gonna start off slow I'm gonna work my way up and by the end of the year, I might be at like 60 pound weighted pull up and chin up. That'd be really awesome if I could get there. Uh, very soon, I would like to get to, you know, back to 40 pounds for the weighted pull up and chin up, then 50 pounds and 60, and just keep going from there. I'd like to eventually work up to 100 pounds, and after that, even a body weight weighted pull up, body weight weighted chin up. If I could do body weight for reps, that would be even cooler, but that's still a long way off. For now, I'm mainly focusing on just recovering my legs and, you know, slowly working on everything around them to get myself back to a level of strength that I was at not too long ago. So that's the plan. I do have this whole new program that I wrote out for myself. I'll be sharing that fairly soon. For now, I'm just going to continue on with this program, see how it goes, see how the first week goes, and I'll be back with another leg day very soon. See ya.